it is that time again to see some more open homes with Josephine Kinsella from Mike Perot Real Estate. And Josephine, you've got some beautiful lifestyle blocks to show us. We have. Um, everyone's dreams of these lifestyle properties, and we've got quite a selection available now mm. coming to market. We really do. So let's head up to the Kaipara first. Kaipara. So um, if you've ever um, dreamed of being near Kaiwaka and having some beautiful views, this one really is quite sensational. It's a stunning, pretty little picture. Oh, wow. And it, for three bedrooms with one bathroom, it's got lovely um, parking and garage available you've got about three acres here um, for 689,000 you really have got a sensational buy mm, nice it's I love beautiful it. I love the color that they've actually used and everything nice it, and fresh mm. yeah and you're right about lifestyle blocks everybody wants one um, that's a really good price okay let's head to uh, Matakana now so Matakana is the best of both worlds um, Parkery and Matakana, right in between. Uh, so you've got uh, Matakana Valley Road, which have sensational views. Mm. And the thing I like about this property is it's a starting block. It's um, advertised at around about 850,000. And of mm. course, you know, we've showcased properties here that are well into the millions and even heading to the two millions. So um, it's a pretty stock standard house, but plenty of room for parking and further development. You might even just have it as a weekend getaway. I love the views. It's sort of a, like that bright, open outlook. It's just gorgeous. It is. And with three acres, it's it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, and well, you're a professional in this field. So what struck you about that one? What did you like the most? Uh, look, I actually drove up this road a few weeks ago. I hadn't been up it before, and the views are sensational. Nice. It's quite spectacular. Oh, the same better view. So let's head to Manawatu now. OK, Manawatu. And we've got uh, this Foxton property. Um, it is just an immaculately presented property. You've got uh, just under an acre, and, um, you know, it's got a good amount of space, it's got a couple of living areas, it's a really good family home oh, and very kitchen. well presented. Um, yeah, look, it's got great style and th there's not really anything that you would want for here. It's it's just a beautiful mm. home. Is that a pond I see in the background? It is a, a lake. Well, you've got your own little pondy lake thing. No, it doesn't belong to you, so um, you get to enjoy the view of it, um, said amongst a, a few right. other properties. But um, oh, you know, what a nice outlook. Sensational. Okay, let's go to Tasman now. Okay, so Tasman, um, Mapua. If you haven't been to Mapua, 30 minutes uh, from Nelson, it's a sensational spot. And this is another great family home. It um, offers around about 749. Uh, it's uh, got 3.4 acres, 4 acres, sorry. Um, and uh, so that's about 1.4 hectares. It's just a really solid home that um, presents great buying in a beautiful part of the country. And who wouldn't mm. want to visit you here? Look at those big open doors too. Yeah. Just absolutely stunning. Wow. And just so much time to enjoy the outdoors too. Absolutely. It is a beautiful, beautiful. love it. I can picture myself there actually. Mm -hmm. Agapanthus though, I'm not sure about the Agapanthus. Uh, so finally, let's go to Banks Peninsula. Okay, I love this one, Port Levy. So um, here we present about uh, uh, 20 hectares, which um, for, for the rest of you, it's around about 49 acres. Uh, you've got, it's spread out, um, some beautiful orchards. Uh, you've got a lovely 1930s property, uh, a, a traditional farmhouse. House. It's um, been extensively renovated and, and quite tastefully. And you've just got, from every room, you've got really sensational outlook and uh, just a great feel about the property. Um, you know, it's established. It's um, f about 40 minutes from Christchurch. So uh, it's good buying at 890000 Wow. And uh, you know what I've noticed straight away? The windows oh, in there, those, those lead windows are incredible, aren't they? They've really tried to keep the original flavour in this property. And um, and the grounds, you know, how often do you get to purchase that substantial amount of land? Mm. And who knows, you could um, apply for consent and, and maybe cultivate some of those orchards and turn it into a real lifestyle property. Solid and gorgeous. Yeah. And you've got some tips for us too, lifestyle property-wise. If we're thinking about getting something, what do we need to be considering? So there's some, um, there's some quite serious things that you need to think about in lifestyle properties. Um, first thing, there's things around fencing. You know, if you've got um, animals on the property, you've got to make sure you've got adequate fencing under the council regulations. Uh, things like water and power, what a lot of people don't realise, there's parts of your property that may not have that, so you need to look into things like that. Um, your access, um, is there a shared driveway? Um, you need to look into things like that. Easements, school zones, often people um, don't realise what the school zones are connected to rural properties. Right. GST, mm -hmm. do you need to think about um, applying for GST or not? Talk to your accountant about that. Um, things like sewage, you know, there's all these sorts of rules in the background and regulations that you really need to ask about. Um, we talked about water supply, flood zones, you know, you've got to look into where the, the 
nearest flood zone might be, mm, yeah. um, land covenants, whether you can do what you want to um, do on that property. And of course, um, you may need resource consents if you're wanting actually to have a, a bit of a business there as well. Nice, that was some good tips. Yeah. yeah you're right, there's a lot to think about. A lot of things to think worth about. It, worth it if you score oh, a property like that. Oh, they're so beautiful. Uh, now, you have just announced too the winner of the travel competition that you had running last year. Yes. Can you remind us what the prize was again? So, um, we were giving away a trip for two to one of 53 destinations anywhere in the world. Oh. Um, plus $2,000 spending money. So who was the lucky winner? So from Blockhouse Bay we presented Michelle Nathan, um, we presented her the uh, the prize and there she is there with um, Jackie Colker from our Blockhouse Bay office. Oh, awesome, nice. awesome. What a tremendous thing to win, yeah, congratulations yeah. to her. Yeah, a pleasure to give away too. Yeah, I, I bet. bet. Um, okay, thank you so much. Any of the properties you've seen today can be found at mikepero.com. We'll see you again next week, Josephine. Thank, thank you. you very much.